Hello everyone, Alyssa here. Uh, so today I sat down and asked my angels what guidance they had that they felt was most important for me to relay to all of you um, in this time. And what I got was that though we've just come out of a flux of energy, there will be more coming. It goes in cycles, after all. And so, the most important thing that we can be doing in this time is to be grounding. And it's not just the grounding of walking outside along the beach or walking through a wood or even pressing up against a tree, hugging a tree, putting our feet in the lake or in the ocean. No, um, there's more that we need to make sure we are doing to ground with intention. So, as I received this, I was then called to pull two cards. And often when I pull two cards, that means that they are working in balance with each other. They are two sides of a particular situation, a question, a query. Uh, they work together in tandem. And what I first pulled was the Empress. Okay. And then I pulled the Wheel of Fortune. And from these two cards, this is the story that I received from those many, many images of circles, of cycles, of wheels, of continuation. We are all children of Earth. We are all children of Mother Nature in this particular incarnation, just as much as we are spirits of the wider universe who are holding at any given second hundreds of thousands of identities and of experiences that are all happening at once. And so, it is more important than ever to make sure, especially for us lightworkers, that we are grounding with intention and not losing ourselves to the onslaught of so much energy, so much time that is falling over and over and backwards and around itself. We are called to bring ourselves down to the earth more and become more in tune with Mother Nature, with Mother Earth. And along with that, that means also coming more in tune with our own mothering sides, our feminine energy, so that we too can come into a duality, a balance with both our masculine and feminine energies, so that we know when it is time to gather, when it is time to plant, when it is time to receive, when it is time to give, and most of all, when it is time to let go and release, to breathe out all the energies that we are holding within ourselves. We are called to listen to nature when we go out and ground. We are called to listen to our nature, even when we're not outside. But by going outside and listening to nature, listening to the wind rustling through the trees, listening to the tide lapping on the shore, listening to the scatter of rocks, listening to the call of birds, listening to the echo of your own voice, when you stand on top of a mountain and shout to the sky. That is helping you. That is helping us become more in tune with our nature, 
our position in this incarnation that we are all are holding as children of the earth. So that when the weather is cold, it is time to slow down and to warm ourselves. It is time to slip internally. When the weather is warm, it is time to dance. It is time to move. It is time to go into action. But even if the weather is warm, if we are feeling tired because we have been acting, because we have been giving, then it is time to sleep. It is time to rest. If we feel drained, it is time to look within. It is time to give self-care and self-love, to not do something for once and to cherish that feeling, to know that it is okay to not do something. But then to also know that if we feel motivated, it is okay to go out there and speak the truth so long as that truth is for the highest good of self and all others. Trusting in our intuition. And then, more practically, when we do go out and ground, what we must do, I am told, is to take a basket that is full of our dreams, full of our hopes, full of our worries, full of our fears, full of anything and everything that we are thinking, and speak them to Mother Nature, to Mother Earth. The speaking to Mother Nature um, can come either from writing down those dreams and those fears. It can come from speaking them out loud. It can come from writing all of them down before you go outside. Or you can be outside sitting underneath your tree and you can write them down. Do whatever feels right to you. But you must ground with that intention. Take that basket of all your thoughts out to Mother Nature and she will transmute them as needed. The dreams will go to the stars, the fears will blow away on the wind, and you will remain brimming with Mother Nature's energy and ready to rise once more. Of course, until the wheel turns, as all wheels do, and you will face the seasons, we are all here on Earth because it's a place of strong energy. It is the energy of change. It is the energy of taking the impossible and believing so much in it, in its truth, trusting and having faith that that impossible becomes a truth. And knowing and having that faith and trust that troubles are just part of growing more layers of bark so that you can stand stronger and you can be a beacon of possibility for those who are coming in your footsteps and those who are around you walking in your woods that you reside within. Remember that you, that we are all change, that we are all possibility and in this time of rising, it is important to ground with intention. Let go of your dreams. Let go of your fears. Take that basket out with you and let Mother Nature work with it and release it so that it may transmute and you may rise once more. So, uh, it was just a bit of a short one today, um, and that um, is all really. Um, in terms of 
specific action steps um, from here on, definitely take with you a notebook, take with you your phone, um, take with you a piece of paper, a pen, and write down everything that comes to mind that you are dreaming of in that moment, everything that comes to mind that you are afraid of, that you're worried about, any thought that's niggling in the back of your head um, that is just not letting go and is keeping you vibrating with some sort of anxiety. Okay, write it down and then go out into nature. You can do it out in nature, like I was saying, um, or you can speak it out in nature, but make sure that you create a list. Mother Nature is there to help us. And now more than ever, it is time that we truly listen to her and we work with her. She is here for us as much as we are here for her. Right. Blessed be my friends, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your evening, wherever you may be.